may surprise ako para kay Solana. Solana kasi ako ninang, she wants a puppy. Pero di niya alam ha, kasi hinihingi po sa akin ni Maricel. Di ba when I tasted the puppies? Oh, look at this puppy! Halika, let's go! Tagal na. How long have you lived here? It would be 10 years already. 10 years? Mm -hmm. Well... Nasa resort. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi probinsya kami, oh. di ba? So, napapaligiran kami ng mga greens and ang highlight ng aming mga art pieces ay Jingoy Buen Suceso. I love it. Favorite brother-in-law. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> no, but I like it na it's so open. Yes. Ang ganda, your place is beautiful kasi it's windy. Daluya ng hangin. Oh, oh. Tapos kasi I'm a vegetarian and I love plants. So, uh -huh. napapaligiran tayo ng mga halaman na mostly nakakain. Eh kasi para sa akin, maganda yung meron kang decoration ng mga halaman, pero mas maganda yung halaman na nakakain mo at nagbibigay sustansya sa'yo. So, pupunta tayo dito sa aming balcony sa first floor. Wow, ano? Ito ang aming tower garden. So, ang maganda dito, meron tayong tower na iba't ibang herbs okay. and mga veggies. So, uh -oh. pwede kang pumili ng tower na lahat dyan ng nasa bahay kubo na kanta o kaya pwede kang lahat herbs, bahala ka. Anyway, uh -oh. so ito, yung gitna, Diyan namin nilalagay lahat ng kitchen waste. Really? Yes, para walang tapon, walang sayang. Tapos may worms dyan. Kinakain nila yung kitchen waste at fertilize nila yung buong tower. Ang galing! <laughs> okay. Tapos, then, meron kami mga sili dito. Ito, arugula to. Uh -oh. We can eat it? Oh, yes, we can uh -oh. eat it. This is so fresh. It is fresh. And clean. Clean. Organic. Yeah. May mga lettuce kami dyan. May kale dito. May talong doon. Tapos oh, yung mga sili, tingnan mo. Dear, ang galing mo masyad. Yeah, hindi ako oh, gumagawa oh. nito. Meron akong kaibigan. Ang pangalan niya si Nicolo. Nagbibigay siya ng chance para matuto yung mga tao to have some installations like this na tower garden. Kasi no. hindi naman lahat marunong mag-till ng land. Yeah. Ito pinakamadali, pinakasustainable for us. You're such us. a silly one. <laughs> You're so silly. Dear, ikaw talaga. Hindi, si Anthony mahilig siya. Lahat ng pagkain niya dapat may sili. Sasabihin ni Ayos, sandali lang, kukuha dito. Oo, oo, oo. Madali. Alam ng lahat na ang tatay mo mm -mm. is the famous mm. Tony Perez. Yes, he's the James Bond of the Philippines. And <laughs> you didn't really know him well. Mm. So was that difficult? Yes, it was very difficult growing up. Yeah. But oh my, gosh. my mom made efforts na magkakilala kami. Oh. Ilarawan mo si Tony Ferrer. Oh my gosh. Okay, nung, diba? okay si Tony Ferrer, actually, nung lumalaki ako, palaging sinasabi sa akin, Imelda, Ito na ba si Maricel? Kamukhang kamukha ni Tony. Tapos tinitingnan ko yung mami ko, sobrang gorgeous ng nanay ko, pero kamukha ako ni Tony. Ano yung tsura ko? Action star. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I grew up really thinking, ako yung junior niya. Later on, nung nag-showbiz na ako, pinapatrain pa niya ako mag-martial arts because my dad is an eight dan black belter. It's for real, hindi yun for show. And he was also about to do a movie with Bruce Lee and nandun siya sa Hong Kong for a story conference. And then Bruce Lee died after that. He was in the funeral. Oh, Bruce Lee? Of Bruce Lee. Because he was about to do a movie with him. That's how huge oh, my dad is. Oh, oh, oh. 
I don't know how many 200 films he's made. Most yeah. of them are international films and blockbusters. Mm -mm. Growing up, I was always made to feel favored and loved and cared for by my mom. Naramdaman ko din yung ganon na attention, pagmamahal. Sa side rin ng daddy ko, pati sa daddy ko. Pero merong time kasi na kinakailangan, protektahan din ng daddy ko yung pamilya niya. Pinakilala niya ako na pamangkin niya. Sa mga kapatid ko. <laughs> Oh my God. Yes. Pero nagpaalam pa yun, ha? Yeah. <laughs> Di ba? Nagpaalam pa sa kanya. Yes. yes. No, but let's go back. Yes. Let's it was a, really It was a major pain that I experienced at that time kasi hindi ko siya naintindihan. Pero kinausap ko yung daddy ko, bakit kailangan mangyari yun? Sabi niya, kasi hindi pa nila maiintindihan. But I knew I was loved. I knew I was special. But somehow, there was a question na, would I be acknowledged? Eh, hindi lang siguro tampo yung naramdam yeah. oh, parang she, could, she couldn't understand. It was you know? really something I couldn't figure out in my heart, in my head. Uh -oh. I just grew up trusting na that's what they think is best. Okay. I, I know after a while na realized niya yung sama ng loob niya. Yeah. Kasi nung... Impossibly, walang effect. Kasi nung mag-asawa na kami, yeah. and then we had our kids, no? They were saying, Daddy, why did we go to your daddy? But we don't go to mommy's daddy. And they asked you, eh, diba? And then Maricel said, if you're happy just seeing dad's daddy, then just go to dad's daddy. But we want to see your daddy. <laughs> then you can bring daddy and see my daddy, you know? <laughs> Ganon talaga. Han, they want to see their, their grandfather. And if you will not go with me, I have to take them. And you go, you know? Ang galit ka na. Oo, oh, so dinala ko yung... Pero dinala ko yung mga anak. <laughs> Pero, I have to give it to you, Han, because you also listen, eh, especially to your kids. So, nangyari dito, mga one week, two weeks, three, two months, three months, umuwi mga bata, having seen their Lolo. grandfather. And then, kikwento. Daming kwento, naiingit ako. Oh, oh, after a while, sabi siya, tama na nga ako. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was the kids. It was the kids that Tapos, actually helped in the during reconciliation. During this time na palaging may kinukwento yung mga anak ko, narealize ko, I think it was a message that my mom told me or my stepfather told me. He loves you in his own way. Mm. Hello? Yes? This is Agent X44. The miracle that I want to share is I was in a lock-in taping last year and then I got a call from my dad. He said, Maricel, I need to talk to your pastor. Sabi ko, oh, bakit dad? Anong nyayari? Sabi niya, hindi, para handa ako anytime. Sabi ko, daddy, mukhang matagal pa yun. Kasi malakas ka pa eh. Yung boses mo, malakas. Ano ka ba ba sa patawag mo? Yung pastor mo, gusto ko makausap. I know many times na my dad has already received Jesus in his heart as his savior. Pinag-usap ko sila. Kapampangan yung dalawa. That's Oo. one thing that bound them. Ito yung pastor na nagkasal sa amin ni Anthony. So after two days, pinatawag ako ng doktor. You, your dad has only 24 hours to live. Mm. I was in the Sad. set, locked in taping. Sabi oh ko, I can't leave. Paano ko pupunta doon? Tsaka imposible. In denial ako na mangyayari yun. Sabi ng stepfather ko, Maricel, if it happens, yung ayaw natin mangyari at wala ka doon, you'll never forgive yourself. Go. And then the whole production already had a car for me. They gave me full support. Dumating ako doon, yung mga kapatid ko nandun, and then, tinanong kami ng daddy ko, may atraso ba ako sa inyo? Mm. Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> I have to say, that is one miracle that the Lord provides at the time when you need it the most. Walang kahit na isang bahid na tampo or questioning my heart na kailangan namin isettle at that time. Nagtingin ang kaming magkapatid. Sabi nila, kami wala. Tinan mo kami, maayos kami. Wala. Wala ang atraso sa amin. Okay, good. Okay tayong lahat. Yes, Dad. Okay tayo. And then Benjamin got on the phone and then he just serenaded my dad with his favorite songs. When the oceans rise and thunders roar And I will soar with you Above the storm, Father, you are here. 
over the fire And I will be still to know you are God You know, after the maybe 48 hours, He passed. Mm. All of us were prepared to actually answer Him na wala siyang kailangan dalin na hinanakit pag umalis siya. Pati yung damit na isusuot niya na all white, pinaplansya niya. <laughs> I want to go that way. All white side, right? yeah. And yeah. for me, we saw how he passed. All of us were so blessed to know that this man lived a full life and with all the fame and the glory. He gave all to the people who binigay needed niya it lahat, most. Lahat, lahat niya. Lahat. All his wealth. So, yun yung nadala ng mga anak ko na values na sasabihin nila talagang Ah, uh, material things really are not as important as the relationships mm -hmm. that you have with people. But how did you forgive your dad? You know, the biggest thing that I need to heal from is the fact that why did I have to wait so long to have all those little tampos be erased? It must have been really the work of the Lord in me. Because He allowed me to go through the process of just being loved by Him. I don't need to seek other people's love because I am completely loved by a God, mm -hmm. my Father in Heaven. Mm -hmm. So every little small thing na my gesture of love from my dad is a plus. Our 10th year anniversary, napatawad niya na yung tatay niya. Kasi <laughs> nagpaalam ko sa kanya sa'yo, ha? Ang sweet mo na asawa. Hindi <laughs> alam ng mga misteryang ang ganyan. Iba ka, dear. Hindi <laughs> na, kasi <laughs> sabi ko, sabi ko sa kanya. Mga detalye ang ganyan. On our 10th year, wala pa talaga niya. Kasi ito yung tinanong ko sa kanya. Iba ka din. On our 10th year, tinanong ko sa kanya, Han, sampung taon na tayong mag-asawa. Sampung taon na rin akong tatay mo. Baka naman pwedeng asawa lang, hindi na tatay. Ang galing nito. And she said, okay na. When she said, okay na, then I knew that I didn't have to play the role of father anymore. And I think we have to say, do not let the pleasant people of your present Pay the price of the painful people of your past. This is our living quarters sa baba. Wait, I love it! So this is our kitchen. Oh my God, this is... This is so, so nice! These are all our books and then all the trophies from all the sports! Proud, of course, proud mom. Some are from the mother. Yes. Ito sa oh, mga ganyan ganyan. Oh, but I remember. Remember, this bago pa lang yung kitchen noon. Wow, baby! Oh, diba? Why don't you join? Oh, diba? Making gluten free. Oh, diba? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, dear. <laughs> wow. No, I. So, ito, this is your living area. Yes, this is our living area. Tapos doon sa babay mga kwarto beautiful. namin. It's so chic. That's what I want to say. Ano <laughs> yon? Para ko na bukas ng Town and country. Ano ba? Oh, grabe. Ano ng tech? Jingo, I also made our table. Really? Yes. And then this one was the painting na ginagawa sa akin nung nagkakilala kami ni Anthony. It's a Jig de Pio. Jig de Pio was in that place. Ginawa niya to. So meron kami remembrance kung kailan kami nagkita. I was in UP getting my grades, graduating. Siya naman nagsisimula pa lang. Tapos biglang sabi ko, Sino yun? That's Marisa Laxa. She was being, ano, pinipaint yung mukha niya ng on-the-spot painting contest. Sabi ko, guys, ano ba? Madaan lang ako rito. I see your guest. Hindi man lang yung pinapainom. Kanina pa yung pinipicture ako ng pinipainting. Bigyan niyo man lang ng coke. Tapos may nabi, hindi yung minimum ng coke yan. Dux. Imelda. Mami Imelda. Oh, tita, sorry. Taho ang kinakain niya. Ganon. Ako na. Taho! Pagdating. Doon ka nagkagusto. Hindi. Na, na, well, I found her attractive, di ba? Okay. Siyempre, di ba? Mm -hmm. And then when I was about to pay, wala akong pera. Taho limang piso lang sa UP. Sabi nung nanay, ako na lang. <laughs> But then anyway, I gave money sila taho. I left. And that day, Yeah, my mom told said, me right after that event, sabi niya, ganun dapat yung mapangasawa mo. First day. Sabi ko, sino ba yun? Grabe na ba? January 6, 1991. Alam mo, over. Oo, di ba? Oo, masyado. So, yan ang itsura ko nun. Kaya siya nabighani sa akin. Look at this! We 
ito. Okay yan, investment ni Solana. Oo. Binenta niya ang kanyang trampoline magpagawa para magpagawa ba? ng sariling bahay. Oh, Solana, why did you want your own little treehouse? Or it's not a treehouse. I mean, I wanted it on a tree, but then they cut the tree. <laughs> <laughs> but do you play here? Sometimes. Why yeah. did you want the house? Because I wanted someone, some place to be because my room was made into a studio. Wait, ito yung nililinis ni Donny. Yes. Oh. Sa video. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ito hindi tayo pwede pumasok ng may sapatos. Oh. But dahil... wait, why did you put the treadmill up? Eh, may jib room kayo. Okay, yung Kasi... treadmill ay kay Hana. At kailangan niyang maalala palaging mag-exercise exactly. kaya nasa taas It's bago true, umalis though. ng bahay. Because um, my treadmill is in the bedroom. And mm. I like the view. Yeah. Like, like when you wake up, you see the treadmill. If not, you won't, you won't go to the treadmill. Yeah. You've also experienced as a couple yes. a miracle in your children's lives. Mm -hmm. Life or death situation with one of your kids. Mm -hmm. Can I say that call from Don, from Ben? Uh -oh. Okay, so, masamaan siya niya, dinala ni Marisa sa ospital, kala namin may whatever. Food poisoning oh. or indigestion. I, I was in a seminar sa hotel, New World pa yun eh. Going down that staircase, alam ko yan ha? Then the phone rings. So, ko update ni Gurso from Marisa. Hindi si Marisa ang kausap ko, si Ben. Bench was four. Oh, about that time. Dad? Okay, yeah. How's your stomach, Bench? It's okay, but I have a hole in my heart. What? Yeah. Yes, Dad, I have a hole in my heart. Can, can you fix my heart? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got the prayer. So, I'm so proud of my You know how kids think their dad can do everything? I said, no, Bench. I said on the phone, I can't fix your heart. But God who made you can. And the moment I said that, how many bench? Then I am the healedest boy of all. Oh my God. That's it. You know, Maricel couldn't face it. That's why he gave you bench on the telephone. No? But the night before the surgery in the US, bypass na yun, no? Maricel was saying, wala siyang sakit. Han, uwi na tayo. Yeah. Alam mo yan, no. Kasi we... tinig ng ko si Benji. Eh. Lively, hmm. energetic, and everything. There's nothing yeah, wrong with him. So, There's com he's so... completely fine. And nandun na kami. O yeah. operahan na siya, hinahanda na lang siya. Tapos tinig ng ko, no? Wala. Uwi na tayo. In denial. Hindi, diba? hindi natin yeah, gagawin ito. Happen. Kasi baka mamaya may mangyari. Hindi ko mapapaforgive yung sarili. If it didn't happen, ang sabi ng doktor, kung hindi natin ito gagawin at this time, ito yung mga sitwasyon na akala mo okay yung bata. Pag laki nila, yan na yung mga biglang namamatay sa basketball soccer court. field, oh, yeah. sa basketball ba court. Bigla. Very, very faint lang talaga yung signals na maririnig mo sa heart. Kung hindi mo talaga siya hahanap, hindi mo mapapakinggan. Kaya mahal na mahal ko si Dr. Philip Del Carmen kasi siyan yung pinunta namin sa puso niya narinig. Miracle yun! Yes, that's a the miracle. The problem was the main, the main artery to the heart. Dapat ganyan, di ba? Yeah. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Oh so, kaya kailangan gawin kaagad cut. habang bata, ikakat mo yun tapos isi-stretch mo mm, para okay. magdikit. Pag hindi ka bata, mahirap i-stretch yun eh. Yeah. So, lalagyan mo ng parang... Stent. Yeah. In his case, tama yung timing. Pati nung narinig, nung doktor, uh, nakinig kami na patignan kaagad yung puso. And We only had... 1% of the resources, huh? 99 came yeah. from all over. Yeah. <laughs> That's a miracle. That's a miracle. You know, I really felt the presence of the Lord. Na parang push me down like that in my chest. And then yung voice in my ear was, He is mine. Who are you? Lord, forgive me kasi sino nga ba ako? Ikaw ang lumikha sa kanya. Tag-aalaga lang ako. Sa iyo siya. Pero pwede ba, Lord, ibalik mo after the surgery? Ikaw nang bahala. When our faith was crumbling, hers especially, we na natin to, di ba? Ben, she's the one saying. He held on to that. Yeah. And, and then... And the heel was spoiled. Pero ikwento mo rin yung mga kapatid. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yung ginawa nila. Nung nalaman ng mga kapatid yung kailangan mangyari, they just bonded together and 
just made themselves available. And ilan taon sila noon? Ah, mga bata pa. Batang bata pa sila noon. Kasi kung... Eight, nine, oh. ganyan. Five. Si Donny, nung narinig niya na malaki yung gagastusin, kasi sa Amerika, sabi niya, I set aside money. Tapos kinumpute daw niya, I have enough for three dollars. Hmm. Sabi namin, wow, that's nice. Can I offer to help Benjamin with the three dollars? Sure na. So nung ibibigay niya na yung three dollars, bigla niyang inurong. So what's happening? Sabi niya, Mama, I also need to follow. I need also the three dollars. Oh. <laughs> Kasi nabigyan kami ng tickets to follow the kids also. So nung nalaman niya pupunta sa road, tayo mo na. Makakatulong din sa gastos ko yung $3, <laughs> diba? So, oh, pero sabi ko, anak, if the Lord already told you to give it, baka wala na na. <laughs> the Lord will take care of what you need. Tenfold, a hundredfold, just trust me. Ganun si Lord mag-work. Nung pinigay niya, natuwa naman yung mga tita kasi nalaman nila may dinonate siya. Sinukso ka nung isang tita ng $10. This is during the, kay ano, Richard Merck. Fundraising. Pumunta lahat yung mga tita ro. Narinig yung kwento. Yung isa nagbigay ng another $20. Naka ganun na si... So, minibigay ng $10, Ken. Si Donny. $10, $20. Ibig sabihin, tenfold na yung kanyang $3. Doon na-realize ni Donny that it is really true what the Bible says, that the Lord will indeed bless you tenfold, a hundredfold. And if you trust in Him, He will be there for you. Many years past, ito, witness ka dito, naging triathletes yung mga anak yeah. namin. Lahat ng mga anak namin, pinatrain namin, except si Bench. Kasi takot ako, baka mamatay. <laughs> diba? Kala ko. <laughs> diba? Lahat yan, may mga coaches. Sabi ni Bench, why can't I also do that? No, Bench, you cannot do that because something might happen. Do you remember your heart? Sa isang race, sabi ko, Bench, remember, ikaw just... Walk slowly to the finish line. Everybody would just run. You just walk just to finish. Maya, maya, nakikita ko. Nakukuna sa finish line. Pedge! Pedge! Galit na galit ako. Sabi niya, what the fuck? What's happening? Nung natapos siya, nanalo. Galit na galit ako. Sabi niya, Mama, what did I do? I told you not to hurry up. Oh my God, baka mamatay ka, Lord. Why did I do that? So, ang hirap rin ang dala mo. Ang hirap. Fear. Diyos ko. I'm sure yung mga nanay dyan na... Diyos ko, may lampin pa nga sa no. mga likod yan. Eh, ito, yeah. nagkaroon ng heart surgery. Sabi niya, Mama, I was not in a hurry. Promise. I'm sorry. I was just hungry. I see the people look like chicken to me. I want to eat already. <laughs> Sabi ko, teka, papatig na ko to sa doktor. Oh Sabi ni Dr. John, na same doctor as Kim. Sabi ni Dr. Wala na, walang ka-trace-trace yan. Patryat, doon mo na yan. Completely, Completely healed. As if walang nangyaring How surgery. Old? This was, he was six? Six or seven. Yeah. Oh my God. Six years old. Because of that revelation, he became the champion in the triathlon, aquathlon, everything. He was the fastest because all he wanted oh. was to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Very timely, no? Is God heals. Of course. Today. Yes. Not in the past. Today he heals. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that's what happens. Pag medyo malaki na naman yung challenge, we have to remind ourselves of the past. The same power that resurrected Jesus from the dead is in you. Brethren, it's in me. It's in Maricel. So if that power is in me today, then you're right. He heals today. Your family is a living example. You're a role model. What's really precious? I cannot say anything more precious than the Lord Jesus in our lives. Because even before kami nagkasama ni Anthony, talagang it was the Lord na eh. Before I met Anthony, I thought that the Bible was a myth, a book of legends. I'll just live my life according to how I want it to be. But then, every time nakikita ko yung buhay niya, parang merong purpose. Ako, hindi ko alam yung pupuntahan ko, <laughs> di ba? So, nung nakilala ko ng personal si Jesus, nagkaroon ng purpose lahat ng mga ginagawa ko. Hindi lang para sa akin, para sa mga taong nanonood o kaya 
natatouch namin. I think in the end, kung ano man ang pangangailangan mo, He will meet you at your need, not at Karen's need, not at, you know, Maricel's need, Benjamin. It's, it's your need. Pero yung sinasabi niya, Maricel, bubuksan mo ba ang isip mo, ang puso mo? Kasi kung hindi mo tatanggapin, yeah. it's already there. Whatever your need is, first, He is your Savior. You have to accept that. And, and you will be amazed. He will never, never fail you. And He has never failed us for 28 yes. years. So, kapit lang. Araw-araw, kapit lang. We are all twisted image bearers. Pero twisted, baluktot. In the presence of an untwisted God, siya lang naman ang diretso. Who is slowly making a street. Hindi diretso, hindi diretso yan. Bigyan mo lang siya ng pagkakataon.